So this is my Breadbean C64 breadboard motherboard 25407 and uh, this is the one I have uh, switched on I have a <laughs> stripe fix board which isn't really that great uh, just a fun project but I'm going to replace that uh, regulator <coughs> so I have uh, unsoldered it sorry and uh, it's a 5 volt regulator so I watched the Jan Beta video and he had uh, bought something called called Recom. It's a 5 volt replacement <coughs> regulator, 1 amperes. And when I desoldered this, I just uh, held the iron on an angle like this. Heat 3 pins at a time. So. <laughs> So loading from tape, I don't have a uh, SD2E on this drive, I have this drive, but it's so easy to just attach the tape because I have so many of them. Very essentials, and if I put my hand on the side, that's like as if there's nothing right here, it's the regulator, it used to be really hot, so we'll wait uh, half an hour and check again. Break time! <laughs> so it's been about a half an hour, and if I feel under it, it's uh, maybe lukewarm. It used to be very hot before, so. So I was watching Jan Beta's video, and uh, I was googling for this uh, heat map or thermal image. We couldn't find it because it's in a PDF, so. And this PDF he has linked here when he is future proofing his uh, Commodore 64. So here's the document, it's retro computing, it's in German. And I don't understand all German, <laughs> so just some words because they look like Norwegian. So in here the, you can see these uh, regulators. Uh, there are some chapters on it and uh, um, Ström. This is current, the bearing room, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, life uh, prolonging, probably. So, and then uh, you can see the original computer is 5 watt on 9 volt and then 4 and 25 on. So, yeah, I had to look it up. So, this means after reconstruction. So you can see the wattage drops uh, by a half or something like that. So really interesting. So and it also takes uh, temperature measurements. So but the interesting thing here is these uh, thermal images. So and I was thinking, is really this the same board? Look here, you have uh, eight RAM chips, and here it looks like you have only two. Well. Actually, he does a trick here. Uh, I, this is going to town on this computer. Um, like here, for example, I think he he replaces uh, two rooms into one or something. And then uh, this is the regulator. It goes into recon, like I have done. And then 
later you can see uh, yeah here's the RAM so, so basically he just rooms a lot removes a lot of RAM chips and the uh, full bridge rectifier is also hot so let's have a look at that I'm just going to replace that and the recom so I have already done that actually just the one but when I look at the image now it seems that like the 12 volt is also a bit hot uh, the 5 volt is also hot but uh, it doesn't look that hot it, it's um, the, because you have a heat sink so it's spread out on a larger area so the, uh, the total power dissipation is uh, higher than what it looks like you can see the rectifier so let's compare you can see you can see the VIC chip is almost the same these two pictures so this is after and then sorry the bridge rectifier you can see the recons they're almost stone cold uh, the CPU uh, is probably the same you can see these uh, rooms are now <laughs> stone cold too because it's using a CMOS and all the RAMs are now so starting to turn up all the lights in here. <laughs> uh.